Well, for most of the UIL brackets, down to the final four, a number of area teams are still alive. We knew there would be a 4A semifinalist in Division I because it was yet another battle between Lake Travis and Cedar Park at DKR on Friday night. Fourth time these teams have met in 13 months, second straight year in this round of the playoffs. Baker Mayfield to Griffin Gilbert, touchdown Cavaliers. They lead it 7 to nothing, and then Brian Hogan going to the air. Does most of his damage on the ground, but a great hookup with Ethan Fry. It was 7-6 when Austin Randa blasts the field goal to give Cedar Park the lead. Only the second time this year, Lake Travis has trailed, but Sean Nixon, their outstanding sophomore running back, gets a crease, and when he has daylight, it is dangerous. Lake Travis back up 14-9 in the second quarter, and then it was all defense in the second half. These two teams average about 90 between them, but Chris Ross's offense could not get anything going. Brock Canyon with the big pick right there. Cedar Park looking for a winning drive, and Lake Travis survives and advances. Again, two wins away from a fifth consecutive state title. Cedar Park's an amazing team. Like That was like the closest game I've ever been in in my whole entire life and probably the happiest I've ever been after a win. That's tough for either team. You know, that's the deal. There's going to be one winner and one loser, and uh, you know somebody's going to come away disappointed, and there was only a couple plays in that game that separated us. It feels unbelievable, and uh, I mean, it can't get really any better than this, and uh, obviously it's uh, great to keep moving on in the playoffs and uh, keep it going and keep the train rolling and uh, get to the state championship. That was our goal from the start, and uh, hopefully it's going to finish out that way. Next stop, the Alamo Dome, Friday night, 8 o'clock, a battle with Pearland Dawson. Let's go to 3A last night in San Antonio. Undefeated Wimberley, undefeated Divine, and the Texans trying to take it to 14-0. Colby Kelly makes it 10 to nothing, and then Dennis Smith with the touchdown, and from there they take it over on defense, and Wimberley wins at 38-12. They're in Bastrop Friday night against Cold Spring Oakhurst with a trip to the finals on the line. In Class 2A, we take you to Bastrop on Friday night. This is Blanco and Hempstead, and Tanner Rogers caps off the drive. Six to nothing is the lead for Blanco, but Hempstead way too much. Quarterback Archie Taylor leading the way. They win it 35-12 in Blanco's ceiling. Class season, rather. 2A, Division Two up in Waco, Lexington, and Arp, and it's all Eagles. Kogan Garrett, a couple of first-half touchdowns. They roll 47-20. They play Refurio Friday in San Antonio. State championship on the line in Taps. 3A, Division 3. That's the Regent School of Austin taking on Bullard Brook Hill from the Tyler area in Killeen last night. That's Andrew Madig with a nice run. Sets up a field goal. They were down 7-3, but Brook Hill was pouring it on. A rematch of last year. Last year, Regents won it, but this year a different story. Gunnar Dorsey darting down the sideline. Touchdown there, and Brook Hill has a 19-3 lead. Regents in range looking for the end zone, but Chase McDermott picks off the pass with the fingertip interception. Brook Hill wins it this time. 26-3 is that final score. Tonight they were the better team. Uh, and, I, and I felt like they've been the best, if not one of the best, all season long. And we saw their best tonight, and we fought like Dickens. Our kids played hard, man. I'm proud of our team. I'm proud of our coaches. They just got the better end of it tonight.